Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm John Sales. I'm here to talk about Ride Lonesome, a Bud Bedecker Western that he made with Randolph Scott, one of a series that uh, I think stand as some of the, the best low budget Westerns ever made. This is a, a, a very straightforward, modest trailer, very much like the movie. Beautiful widescreen color movie. Anthony Mann and Bud Bedecker made a bunch of these kind of classic westerns. Bud Bedecker's were often about very few people in great big wide spaces. Usually there was a, a, a gunfight brewing between Randolph Scott and whoever the bad guy or the untrustworthy guy of the movie could be. Co-starring Karen Steele, one of my favorites from the 50s, one of the great profiles in movie history. She was in a, an awful lot of movies playing opposite a character actor uh, from Warner Brothers named Ray Danton. And actually just was, was a total babe and was pretty good in this movie. These parts are not easy in these westerns uh, for women. We're moving out. I'll be riding you, Don. Well, what am I supposed to do? Walk. I don't think so. This is a relationship between Bud Bedecker and Randolph Scott, very much like the one between John Ford and first in the silent movies, Harry Carey, and then in the, in the, the talkies, John Wayne. They made a bunch of movies together. It was basically always the same character. And I think the Randolph Scott character goes back to William S. Hart. He's very modest. There's nothing really sexual about him. He's very courtly with women, but you just don't mess with this guy. He doesn't say much, but he always backs up his word with his actions. And usually there's a, a very brief, not showy shootout at the end of him, uh, which he can get wounded, but he never gets killed. There can be some real bitterness in him. It's a very mature Western character. And in all of these movies, there's these great guys who ended up being you know, big stars later, or like Lee Van Cleef here, you know, kind of mainstays of the Western. Uh, this was the first um, movie that James Coburn was in, playing a character named Whit, of course, who's not very smart. 